Now, we have dealt with the easier problems. Multiplying fractions really isn't that difficult. Now, we are going to add an added level of complexity by making sure that you only have polynomials for your numerator and your denominator. So we have x squared plus 4x minus 21 over x squared minus 6x minus 16. And we're going to multiply that by x squared minus 8x plus 15 over x squared plus 9x plus 14. This is going to require us to factor all four expressions. Bless you. So let's go ahead and factor the first one. So what two factors multiplied together equals 21 but add together to make 4? Yeah? 7 and 3, but you know what, buddy? 7 uh, and 3 combined are going to be a positive 10. So, so which one needs to be negative? Uh, three. The 3 needs to be negative. So we have positive 7 and x minus 3. All right. What two numbers multiplied together equals negative 16, but add together to equal negative 6? Maggie? So we have negative 8 and 2. And then we're going to have to have our x's here. OK. And we're going to multiply this. We get, let's get our parentheses set up. And we know we're going to have x's, because what would life be without more x's than you really need? And so what two numbers multiply together to equal positive 15, but add together to equal negative 8? Rebecca? Negative 3, negative 5. Negative 3, negative 5. And then finally, what two numbers multiply together to equal 14, but add together to equal 9? Sophie? Positive 7 and positive 2. Positive 7 and positive 2. So that wasn't really that bad. Nothing we've done is overly difficult. Now we have all our trinomials in factored form. So let's see if we have any common factors that we can cross out. So do we see any common factors that appear in both the numerator and the denominator? Yeah? Yeah, x plus 7 divided by x plus 7 is 1. Do I see any others? Are there any others that are common? Let's see. Sir? X minus 3 and X plus 3. Uh, X minus 3 and... But X minus three and X minus we, we have X minus 3 here. We have X minus 3 here. Oh. But are we dividing them? No. no we're multiplying them. So we, those, those don't cancel out. Likewise, we have an x plus 2 and an x plus 2, but are we dividing them? No, no we're multiplying them. So at this point, there's not, not much more we can cross out, unfortunately. So we take a look, and we notice that we have x minus 3 and x minus 3. What's another way of saying x minus 3 times x minus 3? x minus 3 squared. But I also have my x minus 5. And this is all over. What? <laughs> All over 2, 8. No. That's something different. Matthew? Uh, X plus two and we also have this x minus 8. And that's it. I can do no more. <laughs>